gratitude. <laughs> you got so much to teach us. I was thinking about gratitude the other day when I was driving my car. I've got this picture in my head of rain. Now, yeah, I'm grateful for rain and sunshine and all of those things, but I wanted to know about rain. And as I looked into it, I saw that rain falls to earth when a cloud becomes saturated with water droplets. You see those water droplets, they dance around inside that cloud till they gather enough liquid to pour down. Now that water, it comes up from the earth and it's known as evaporation. But I'm no scientist and I'm not here to give a science lesson. But I know that when I link that to gratitude and that when you send gratitude up or out, then it gathers in this big world of ours. And then that gratitude has a funny way of pouring down on you. So we've got a water cycle with rain, but I believe that there's a gratitude cycle. I used to say, when you share gratitude to others, it has a funny way of coming back to you. It's like this tsunami of gratitude just totally consumes you. So this morning, I'm grateful for life, <laughs> grateful for breath, for water and sun, and the birds and people and animals and the night and the day. But, you know, it's really easy to be grateful when things are going well. But now when the dark clouds roll in and you're a bit sad or you start to get sick or you're hurt or you're scared or you're angry, well, now is the time to turn on that gratitude cycle, to throw out thanks when it's so hard to do so. Grab that frame and reframe your situation because I can guarantee you that there's another way to look at this thing. So put it through the gratitude cycle and see what happens. Though I've got a funny feeling that things will get a whole lot better. And I want to finish gratitude by sharing a story about a young kid that I was working with in a detention centre. And, you know, I'd run a balanced choice session and we were working out together. And this kid was about to turn 18 and go to the big house. Big house is jail, right? And we always do quotes of the day in balanced choice. And this kid, he says, today, Adam, I've got the quote of the day. And he hands me a piece of paper. And on that piece of paper, it said, don't use your struggles as an excuse, but use your struggles as motivation. Now that I will forever be grateful for. Thanks, young fella.